so what are the special tests that can be done in foot and ankle region so the for instability we have two tests for lateral ligament complex we have anterior draw test for anterior talofibular ligament in which we hold the foot with one hand we hold uh, the talus and with the other hand you hold the heel and then you give an anterior thrust to uh, the heel so if there is an increased anterior translation of the talus with respect to the tibia that patient would have a positive anterior draw it always needs to be evaluated and compared with the contralateral side and similarly a varus or a valgus tilt test in this my one hand is holding the tibia and the other hand is holding the heel or the calcaneum and i will be giving a varus test varus stress and a valgus stress so a varus stress is for calcaneofibular ligament or CFL valgus though not very commonly found positive but that means that the patient has deltoid ligament insufficiency so let's look at the video so this is how you do an anterior draw test so there are two ways the first in which I'm pushing the heel the second is you try to hold the whole of the talus as well as the calcaneum with one hand and trying to push it the people can do as they feel comfortable now let's look at the second video so this is to assess varus tilt test for cfl and this is how you do it for assessing the deltoid ligaments so to assess for syndesmosis or high ankle sprain sprain you need to check for tenderness a point tenderness at the syndesmosis which is right over here and also we can do a calf compression or a squeeze test where we squeeze the calf somewhere in the middle and try to compress the tibia and the fibula so if the patient has a syndesmotic injury the patient would have pain in the distal tibiofibular ligament the third test to assess for syndesmosis is an external rotation stress test where you with one hand you hold the leg and with the other hand give an external rotation stress to the ankle if the reciprocates the pain at the syndesmosis the patient would have a positive external rotation stress test coleman block test it is used to differentiate between the forefoot driven hind foot varus versus hind foot varus or a rigid hind foot varus so what is the basis of a coleman block test so in patients which have a pes cavus deformity due to a plantar flexed first metatarsal so as soon as the patient tries to stand to maintain the tripod the patient in view of his plantar flex first ray touches the first ray first and now when the patient tries to stand the heel touches the next and the third is the outer uh, fifth metatarsal head so as a result the patient develops a varus deformity so this can very well be seen on this x-ray as well so what if we put a block around this region so that it supports the heel and it supports the fifth metatarsal head and leaves the first metatarsal free then if the hind foot varus gets corrected that means that the varus was driven by a plantar flexed first ray so in such cases you just need to do a corrective surgery of the first metatarsal but in long standard cases the patient would develop a rigid hind foot varus which does not get corrected with the coleman block test and such cases would require an associated surgery for the heel as well or for the hind foot as well.